Hi guys, it's Hema. I'm sorry I've been away for so long. Um, I'm currently dog sitting, so you might see a little girl dog named Molly walk in and out because she really likes being with me. Um, Robin and Kobe are outside. Robin actually got really along with her. Anyways, um, we're doing a collective haul today. That's Molly. And it's not going to be a try on haul because I've gained some weight and I've I've actually been kind of insecure about that, so I think that's another reason why I actually haven't been buying a lot of items. But, um, yeah, um, there's some stuff that I bought after my birthday, or during my birthday, I don't know, there was a sale going on in Nasty Gal, because, you know, they went out of business and all this stuff. But yeah, so I, I guess I'm going to start with that, and then I'll go into some other stuff, some more recent stuff. Okay. So, let's start with Nasty Gal. So Nasty Gal went uh, bankrupt, and now they have a completely new owner. So I took advantage of their sale, and I bought these shorts. They have these cute... It has a cute cut under. It's super cute. Um, it fits me really tight, so I haven't worn them. But I'm, I'm trying to lose weight, so I'm hoping I will someday. Um, I've been actually been eyeing those shorts for the longest time, you don't even know. The other thing is a dress by Honey Punch that was in uh, Nasty Gale's line, so this dress actually fits me and I think I'm going to wear it to Coachella. So it's this really pretty dress, it has some beautiful detailing in the front, I was going to wear this for New Year's, but it was freezing, like this, and then on the bottom. It has super cute, like, frills type of details. I don't know, I absolutely love it. I've been wanting to wear it, but it is kind of open. And on the back, it's completely open. Hi, Robin! So, yeah, I'm definitely wearing this one to Coachella. Hi, Molly. Leave Robin alone. This is another dress I bought from Nasty Gal. This one I actually wore on New Year's. And this one's by o Ecote, because there's an accent on the E. So maybe I might be saying this wrong. But um, it has a slit like this on the front. The sleeves are bell sleeves, which are my favorite. And then the back is completely open like this. I actually wore a poncho on top of this. So you didn't actually get to see it. I took it off for pictures, but then like, yeah. and. It's actually kind of long, it's not that short, and then it's not transparent because there's like a seam inside it. And I absolutely love this yellow mustard color so much. But yeah, there's this, and I've actually worn this one. I think I'm going to wear that one to Coachella as well. Hi. Now on to like the more recent purchases. Some more recent purchases would be... I bought some pins in a patch from one of my friends. This one says Girl Boss Gang and this one says Nasty Woman. I haven't put this patch on anything yet. I don't know what to put it on because my jean jackets are too long so I want to get a really shorter one. Robin! And then the lights changing outside so I'm going to be pale like throughout this whole thing. And then I got these, which I've been eyeing for a long time too, and then Charla finally had a sale, so I'm really happy. It's these pins. I'm gonna do a zoom in, a zoom in on these, anyways. But it's these pins by Charlaville, and I absolutely love her pins so much. Her art is so cute too. And um, uh, there's one more thing that hasn't come in yet, but that's uh, washi tape from Aliexpress, so. But um, from Aliexpress, I also bought this phone case. It's a real Akuma. To put my hand over it so that the sun doesn't take over. Mm -hmm. And real Akuma's right here. It's an ice cream sandwich. It's super cute. Five dollars. And then, I bought these tiny accessories as well. My friends and I have matching almost everything. We have matching teacups, 
We have matching like makeup bandanas and now we have matching a stationery. This is Little Twin Stars Tiny Notebook. And this is a Cinnabon, whatever it's called, but like Cinna something, uh, washi tape. So I've been using all this stuff for orders. Not this though. <laughs> I just kind of collect these. Back to clothing items, because those were recent, but I also bought some clothing stuff last week. So let's go into that. I got this from Forever 21. I've been wanting an off the shoulder. Um, top and this has a cute like embroidered design on in the front. Um, the material is not the best. I'm not gonna lie. It's like really cheap and it hurts my arms when I move them around a bit because it's really stiff material. But it's from a one, so it's to be expected. Anyways, this is super super cute and I like it a lot. I'm already knowing this. And the other clothing item is from Zulis. So I got this shirt because uh, since I'm artist slash business owner but most of my products are from art that I've made before or that I've recently come up with, um, I follow this artist called or named Robin Eisenberg um, and I saw in her story that she made a collaboration with Thrasher and most of her stuff was already sold out, so I was really upset that I didn't get anything, but in my mall, in my mall, they weren't sold out. So I got in Robin Eisenberg, Robin Eisenberg X Thresher, that's like a collaboration type of thing. I love her art so much, and it's such a cute color and everything, and yeah. I also got something from Victoria's Secret because I saw Vivian Vo, um, you probably follow her on YouTube, wearing it and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. It's like a pullover and it has a collar and in the beginning of the year it was there was a lot of wind and it was really cold and since I had my ear infection I'm really prone to getting ear infections again so um, it really helped with my neck area and I don't know, it just helped overall and it's a really, really comfortable sweater, like no one can look bad in it. That's how good it is. So yeah, I went to go get that and we got a free hat with it. <laughs> but yeah, there's that and if you want to go see what it looks like, you can probably see Vivian's video. It's the one where um, she goes to visit her aunt, I think. They're talking about like a new building or a new house that they made in the back or something. But yeah, it's like the cutest sweater ever and I really loved it. And they're not, I think it's, what's it called? Uh, discontinued or seasonal, so I guess it's not there anymore. You can probably find it online though. That's pretty much it for um, clothing items and, and like anything. So on to beauty, which I've only bought one thing, is this Burt's Bees Day Lotion, and it's uh, with royal jelly skin nourishment, uh, and it's normal to combination skin, because most of the time my skin is super super dry, but it gets like oily sometimes, like you'll see around here, I guess on my nose, but yeah, I got this because uh, I was getting an insane amount of dry patches here, here, and here, and it was just intense and I just kept picking at it because I like picking scabs, so that's what it felt like. And I started wearing lotion and it's completely gone and everything's good. I tried my mom's lotion and my face started burning, so thanks for its bees. Sponsor me. But um, yeah, another thing that I recently got. Were these? These are called pinchers. These are for people who have stretched their ears. I actually had regular earring sizes. When I put these on, I just kind of forced my way through there. Don't do that, guys. It's not the safest way. You could rip your ear, and your ear will never go back to being a normal earlobe. So, don't do what I did, but uh, I did it when I was in my junior year of high school. I forced some plugs that were size 10, and if you guys know about gauges and stretching your ears, 
you know that a size 10 going into an earlobe where it was a regular earring size is not a good thing because it's like kind of thick. So these are a size 14. It wasn't that bad, plus since my ears have already been prone to a size 10, I think the 14 was a little bit easier. It did sting for a long time. I did get like crusties on them for the longest time. So all that stopped. One morning I woke up with blood on my ears and I don't even know how, but like, okay, don't do what I did. That's pretty much it. And other than that, all I bought were props for um, pictures for my pins. So I think that's it for this video. And um, if you want me to, I can do like Coachella box unboxing because I already opened it up and stuff and like I made the little things that came inside of it. But it's really fun. <laughs> so you guys can see what's in it. And um, Coachella is really, really fastly approaching and I didn't list the way that I wanted to list. But anyways, not nah, Um if you're going to Coachella Weekend 1, you can go and find me, and if you find me, I'll be handing out free pins and like stickers and goodies and stuff. So, yeah, um, if you're an old customer, that's probably good for you, because then you won't have to spend more money. So, yeah, and then I have new pins coming in, and they're probably going to come in by the time that Coachella is getting ready and everything. So, I'm going to have those with me. So yeah, and then if you guys want to go pre-order my new pins, then you can go ahead and do that. And I'm also doing a Kickstarter right now for a patch that I want to get made. That's probably not going to be ready by Coachella. But I got you with the free pins. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go take off this makeup. I'm going to go finish my homework. And probably going to edit this tomorrow because I have to take care of Molly. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.